So today I'm building the rack mount system for the solar panels on top of the RV. I looked around and it seemed like all the mounts that were available out there were just really chintzy and overpriced. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overbuild this with some really thick gauge uh, angle iron. So I'm just kind of you know drilling the holes and these are going to be inch and a half pieces so each hole is going to come off and be a half inch piece with a hole in either side of the angle iron and this is going to what's going to connect these little pieces these little L brackets basically are going to connect to the solar panels and then I've cut these I've cut six of these five inch pieces that are going to be the risers that are going to bring it up off of the deck up there. And then I've cut uh, six of these shorter pieces. I didn't really measure these, I just made them all the same length because I had some that were already pretty good. So I uh, made them all the same. And these are going to have two four inch lag bolts that are coming to go all the way down through the decking on the top down into the camper. The reason that I'm doing that is because the roof of this travel trailer is uh, there's only an like an eighth inch it could maybe quarter inch plywood on top underneath that is an inch and a half of foam insulation and then that's pretty much it it's really thin so uh, and, and then you know there's a couple other layers of the the vinyl on top and then uh, underneath um, and and so this is going to be lag bolted all the way down through that. The vent fans that are screwed in up there, uh, they don't weigh much, but these solar panels do. They're 50 pounds each, so they've got to have some significant uh, mounts to hold those up there. I don't want to lose one going down the highway. So, uh, yep, lag bolted all the way through, big inch and a half washers on each lag on each side. And then, uh, so I'll kind of show you here in a second uh, one of these how I'm going to make one of these mounts and you'll kind of get the idea and these are going to go over the top of the fence up there um, you know RVs have the, the vent that you wind up and, and wind down uh, and these are going to go over the top of that but I'm going to make the I'm going to make this in such a way that where I can uh, angle the panels up and and then I can open the vents with when they're sort of angled up. And then the only time I would open the vents anyway is when I'm uh, stationary. I wouldn't open them when I'm driving down the road. So uh, when I'm driving down the road, those will be closed. Solar panels will be flat. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So let me finish drilling these and cutting them up. I'll show you how these mounts are going to go together. So here's the idea. I got some more holes to drill. Um, it's basically going to be I got one hole here. There's going to be another hole over on this side. And this is what's going to get lag bolted down to the roof. And then I'm going to weld this riser on here. It's going to be welded to this. And then uh, this piece here, which is going to be connected to the solar panel through that hole. We'll also have a hole through here with a thumb screw on it that I can take uh, take this off and, and, and raise the panel up and to angle it. So this top piece won't be welded on, but these two pieces will be 
and then that's uh, pretty much the idea. These are the risers, so they're all cut, so I need to drill some more holes here. Um, I think just, uh, yeah, I need two in each of the bottom ones of these and one right here to go through this hole here so I can put it all the way through. And then that, um, that ought to do it. super beautiful but it's good enough for a little 110 weld pack Lincoln weld pack that'll work it ain't going nowhere it's one piece now There's one solar panel up there. You can see the brackets. Hopefully that. See, so this bracket will have two. Has this one sitting on that side, and I'll have another one sitting on that side. Hopefully you can see what I was trying to accomplish with the brackets now, and it all makes sense. <laughs> And it's lag bolted through under the ceiling, so, so all the way through. So it's uh, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And then I still have room for the vent there to pop that up. Not all the way, but halfway. And I can also um, like I'm gonna be able to tilt these. That's what these thumb screws are for. So I can release the panels and put an extension in between this and the, the panel. So I'll be able to tilt these both ways, either way. So there's the finished product, two of them up there. Brackets. This thing is solid. I think it's not going nowhere now. Turned out good. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you like it. God bless. We'll see you next time.